In 2012, CRISPR was discovered by Dr. Doudna and Dr. Charpentier as a defense mechanism in bacteria to combat against invading viruses. Now, how does CRISPR work exactly? Well, I'm Cas9, and you see... Oh, hold on a second. Agent Cas9, we've got no time to waste. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to edit the DNA of the target cell. Well, being the Cas9 enzyme, I act as a sort of molecular scissor to cleave DNA. Problem is, I don't know how to exactly. No excuses, Agent. We have provided you with a guard RNA, which is composed of two main parts. The CRRNA, a 17 to 20 nucleotide sequence that is complementary to the target DNA. And the tracer RNA, which allows the Cas9 enzyme to bind and be activated. Here's what you're going to do. Infiltrate the nucleus of the cell. Once inside, the Cas9 gRNA complex searches for the DNA sequence that is complementary to the guide sequence in the gRNA. However, Agent Cas9 is equipped with another identification marker, the PAM sequence. Once a DNA sequence matching both identifiers is found, the Cas9 gRNA complex binds to the target region, and the two nuclease domains of Cas9 are activated, resulting in a double-strand break in the DNA. NHEJ is done by directly ligating the break ends. It is very error-prone, usually resulting in a gene knockout. However, if a DNA repair template is provided, the cell can use HDR, either to correct genetic mutations or insert new genetic material. From GMO crops resistant to pests, to GMO mosquitoes reducing the spread of malaria, to gene therapy combating heredity diseases, with CRISPR, we have the power to rewrite the very fabric of life itself. Oh goodness, I almost forgot. This message will self-destruct in 3, 2, 1.